And then you realize, oh shit, I have to kill two? And, and I like this music a lot. I like the mini-boss music. You're just stabbing, like, in crazy fashion. You should use your shield more. Look, I'll turn the Let's Play car around. <laughs> oh, whoops. Nice, nice strategy. <laughs> so this is where you jump in the lava. <laughs> I'm having control <laughs> issues. I have them differently than I did before, and they keep pressing the wrong goddamn thing. <laughs> And then Leek comes over the ledge, like, like covered in <laughs> lava with his evil face, and he's just like, you're mine. <laughs> so, fuck you. So this is where you jump off the ledge. I don't remember which is the right way. I almost always choose the wrong way. Yeah, yeah dude. That, was that? Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah. It's pretty, I, there's a trick to it, which is, you know, there's this, well, I don't know. I know the trick to it, but I wasn't paying way, attention. Anyways. Um, uh, yeah, that was a really, really cool room. The whole, wall, all the walls are black. Like this is, you know, yeah, really. very lava inspired. I almost feel like I should should switch the mech. I've switched to L and Z, and I can't fucking get it right for the life of me. Huh. That's why I completely gave up on trying to Z target. And then you have rooms like this where it's it looks like all the shades are cooler, and then uh, you know, but it's still all rocky. And it kind of makes you feel like you're really exploring deep in the earth. Like, this is all made out of jade now or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see what this guy is. What? I, no. Uh, no, wait. Why was this fucking like back that. here? What did he want? He wanted to sell you Deku stick. Anyways, um, yeah, this room... And this room kind of seems more like a... Kind of like a temple area and less like, you know, like a barbaric, like, you know, dinosaur room. You know what I mean? Like that I put that in a really crappy way, but Yeah, barbaric. Maybe my not a choice of word. Yeah, but... like not barbaric, but like a really, you know uncivilized, you know, more just like these really uncivilized creatures live here, you know, things yeah. like the Dodongos. But this actually looks more like a, a civilized creature or something lives here. This kinda looks like a temple to me this room is more fancy and that before it just looked like, you know, a cavern. Yeah, Although this, it looks this, really this, like primal and tribal and yeah. all the other areas, but this yeah. is like some special fancy uh, cavern. Yeah, like where the, you know, the tribal chiefs or elders or something yeah, yeah, congregate. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. And these enemies I thought were so cool as a kid, but, yeah, you know, they too. kicked my ass. Yeah, they kicked my ass too, and they really freaked me out as a kid. Like, I was, when I just was walking through here and I saw those fucking wizards walking through, freaked me the fuck out. I also, and that distinct, yeah. that distinct, like, like, venting sound that they make. Yeah. Uh, as you're, like, it, it brings me back, it's, it's rare that I get this, this feeling again, but it brings me back to the exact, like, you're, you're struggling with the controls, like, n well, not really, you, you're holding the controller and you're getting really panicked fighting this enemy and your heart starts beating, like, Oh my god, this is fucking intense. Yeah. Uh, and you don't get that. I'm not going to ever get that back playing Ocarina of Time, but no, I'll get it with a couple either. other games. Like, I, I actually kind of got that when I was playing Dark and Demon Souls. Yeah, I um, agree. But, with, I mean, I definitely did experience that with Ocarina of Time, but I don't think I ever will again. Maybe I will using this, uh, contr this controller, because I'm not good with it at all. And just to, I, to mention, the uh, a lot of the graphical glitches that are happening are the ROM, not the game itself. Imagine a revamping of the or Ocarina of Time type uh, like game? developers platform, where uh, they have completely new enemies with different enemy uh, move sets. That would be pretty cool. But it's Ocarina of Time. No, well, just the same engine. Good lord. Yeah, that was, I was saying good lord how I just would not hit that jar. Yeah. <laughs> I like mentioning everything aesthetic in the game, but those iron gates are pretty cool as well. Uh, I think that's the first time you see them in this game, I'm well, not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it is, yeah, and you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Because, yeah, in the Deku tree, just a big wall uh, falls down behind you when you're fighting Goma. Even just walking over that wooden part, it's like, is this really safe, you know? This thing seems like it could burn up at any moment. Yeah, and this this whole place seems a lot more like, you know, this whole dungeon is like, this is not safe. The Deku Tree didn't feel safe, but this one feels particularly more foreboding. At least to me. 
And I also like the ascending and descending platforms in the in the beginning there. I don't actually like riding on them, but you know, because I think that's just kind of tedious. But I like the way it looks. Yeah. And of course, this room is pretty yeah. damn cool. I actually, I remember this was another one of those rooms I figured out by myself as a kid, and I was really fucking pleased with myself. Yeah, I remember um, actually as well. This this is always really fun to do. I think this is a really cool spot. Um, oh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it because it's so cool. Uh, let's, let's see if you can do it on the first try. I know. You should just sacrifice Link. Just <laughs> have him explode with all of it. Yes, I always can get it on the first try. But this and this is a cool scene too. This is a scene that, again, you know, I think really sets why people liked it so much because it's just you see this uh, staircase falling at these weird angles after you did something that was legitimately original. And that was an original way to make a staircase fall, and I still haven't seen something quite like this in any other game. It, it kind of reminded me of the castle falling at the end of the game. Just, you know, yeah. something... Oh no. Like not, okay, whatever. I was like, you're just gonna do that and then not climb it afterwards. Well, because that, uh, you progress all the way if, through the... Well, you keep progressing in the temple that way, and here you hit the thing. I do that. I avoid making progress to make sure I hit everything in game. Some I skip some rooms, but I guess yeah, I know that's why you should show all the rooms, which I think is what I usually do for the little I've recorded previously. And also, I don't uh, remember everything. I don't really remember the way to kill these guys. Clearly, my way. Uh, is just use more bombs. Yeah. It's fun. It's well interesting how they turn orange instead of red when they are hit. It's making some weird damn noises. Did that thing fucking explode? God damn. Let's hope he doesn't set off his friends. Okay. Or do they come alive? I don't think they come know. alive. I'm not sure. Map? No, compass. Oh, okay. The comp ass. I thought we weren't referencing other LPs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made that up. No, not really. No. Alright. Just in case anyone... <laughs> yeah, right. So anyways, Link's too small to even properly walk up the stairs. He's gotta, like, legitimately climb them. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, it's, it's interesting for speedrunners who play this game, and they come back as an adult... There are certain areas in the game where you go through as a child that are inaccessible to uh, Link. Like, he, he needs to get a ladder or something, but adult Link can just backflip onto them or just <laughs> just climb up to them by doing this glitch where you uh, jump after shielding a bomb. There was nothing down this way, right? Uh, another pot, I think, with another <laughs> ruby. Okay, yeah, that's but... unnecessary. I'm ready to get some more hearts here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Um, but oh. seriously, that if, if you were a kid, like, you know, fucking... It'd be like, this is terrible. Is there gonna be one room I can just feel safe and <laughs> This is terrible. Will you walk <laughs> on to him for fuck's sake? It's like I'm expected to do these great deeds and <laughs> fight enemies or something. I just wanna... wanna find a peaceful place to relax. I don't have start meth. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to do that in a second. Um, uh, no, this is the challenge run. No start. Where is he? Oh, good. Link's thoughts, exactly, mm -hmm. is I just want to go back to that place in the, uh, in the Lost Woods and curl up under that tree and finish reading Twilight. I just want to be back with Syria. <laughs> the, the light I of my, my life. Babe. I, I miss my babe, you know. We used to just chill out on that tree stump and hold each other for like hours. And she'd show me all these crazy songs and you yeah. know we'd play a duet. She would like play her ocarina and I'd just be like, babe, you were like so fucking cool. Alright, hold on just a second while I map this. Mm, okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah, this is oh, how natural that was. Oh yeah, flashing white screens just like my childhood. Fuck this. <laughs> I always remember mapping the controls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Remember late at night you're sitting there mapping the controls.
specials, and you're like, oh, Fraps is enough. This I is can't a continue the dungeon. <laughs> this is a cool spot too. I like this. Bra. <laughs> what? Dude? Uh, it's okay. A pretty nice bra. I'm gonna cut that. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Good lord. Put it after my joke. <laughs> okay. Which joke? <laughs> That's a pretty nice bra. Okay. Oh it's... no. <laughs> okay, keep that in, keep that in as well. Okay, Wait. anyways, I don't know how much of this is... Any anyways, I'm back here. <laughs> you fucking jumped off. <laughs> That's because you jump automatically and I, I forget that. Anyways, this is a cool spot. I, I like how you're up here above everything. I like how the bridge is uh, missing in the middle. And plus, it's just... It's creepy to be this high. Yeah, it is creepy. You, I forget how nervous you I was originally when walking on that bridge. And it's one of those things where Ocarina of Time does a good job of showing you where you're going to be before you're going to be there. Yeah, that is really cool. I always noticed that as a kid. And also how you end up on the other side. How you went on one side, you're on the top on the other side, and you're going to do that again. Yeah. And then these keep... fucking sliding assholes are really annoying. Those those assholes have been annoying since the 2D, the, the 2D Zeldas. Oh, they're Which angry. is actually... Did Miyamoto develop all the Zeldas? Yeah, I believe so. But I, yeah, wouldn't, they, I, I can't, I can't see it the other way. But that's that's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy that they stuck with Zelda for so long. Well, I mean, for a while there, they are doing really well. Anyways, this room as a kid was the room I was stuck on for quite some time. Because I did not know to time the bomb. So I would throw it, and it just nothing would happen. And I actually gave up on playing for a while, and eventually came back. But Yeah, this was a pain in the ass as a kid. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that simple little thing right there, it took me so long to, to, I could not get past here. How I actually ended up passing it was I saw in a magazine, Nintendo Power or something. Uh, this control stick is shitty, so, well it's not shitty, but the sensitivity is all off. Anyways, uh, it said time the bomb for seven seconds, and I was like, oh my god! And I was able to pick it up again, and sure enough, it worked. Although I think it still took me a few tries. I remember counting the flashes, uh, how many flashes it does before it blows up. It flashes red a certain number of times. Yeah. This is also a, a cool area, but it's like, you know, it kind of looks fleshy, like Jabu Jabu. Yeah, it does. It's really weird, like, it what kind, kind of... It kind of looks Silent Hillish to me, with how it's fleshy. This is another really cool spot, because you're fighting those things again, only you're in the, uh, a weirder area. You're in a weirder looking area, and you're much higher up. Actually, they have a lot of very flashy looking areas now that I remember in the 2D Zeldas. Damn. I'll make sure you... Are we gonna power up in the lava again? Mm, yep. Whoa, that was awesome! Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> hey, you've got some milk, why don't you take a swig? Yeah, I was actually just thinking of that, that's strange. Although I do well, have the fairy, strange. so I'm not that worried. Yeah, I guess you know, it's not that strange, but... He's like, oh, yeah, you see this? I'm gonna drink it right yeah. in front of you. Fuck you, I got milk. You ain't shit. Another reason I really liked this area so much as a kid was I really liked reptilian things. I was obsessed with lizards. And I, I really <laughs> wanted a pet lizard. So these guys were just... Child who wasn't obsessed with lizards, so Maybe. I really wish you fought them with the shield, but it's your let's play. Is it really that important to you? No, I just think it looks a lot more cinematically cool. Also, going out here is so fucking cool to get the hearts. Yeah. And this just looks badass. I mean, look at this. And then you can see all oh, I'm above where I fought them before. Boy. And just that awesome fog. Yeah. Uh, layer of fog. It, you know. And then you see the lava cool. Look at this as you come yeah. back. This just... is awesome. And this was just so, this was such a good game to play when you're really young and hadn't seen this kind of thing. Were you going to say something else? No, I was just trying to find the right words. I can't really descri describe... Dis describe? I can't really speak at all. Uh, <laughs> I can't really describe how cool that that fog it's is. Just, I'm just saying it's cool. Honestly, it does just speak for itself, I think. It does. It, it has like a weird mystical quality that, you know... Oh, and... 
Also, I'd like to say, I kind of think of this more as just our Let's Play rather than just mine, because you're in, you're going to be in every fucking video. Well then, <laughs> give me the controller. <laughs> Not... Actually, no, this is the last video I'll be featured in. <laughs> There's going to be a great schism between me and... Uh, <laughs> a multitude of other uh, guests. <laughs> now, yeah. I'm just the first in a long line of guests <laughs> featuring uh, Kanye West and the country star now, uh, Snoop Dogg. Uh, Knock him down. I cannot... I <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot stress it, like, how victorious this was to me as a kid. For how I just wanted the bomb so badly, I couldn't get past that area where you timed the bomb. And then I saw all these rocks, and it's like, I know you need the bombs, and I just can't do it. And I finally got it. And then I thought it was cool that it was made from Dodongo's stomach. Yeah. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Dude, this, seriously, this was just an ultimate victory for me as a kid. It, I might as well have been raising my arms up and holding it over my head. Praise the sun. It's kind of frustrating that it's... Like, really, I just needed a bag? Link is so fucking stubborn. Or so... Yeah, that's... He's this incorrectly OCD that he's like, I'm not picking up a single fucking bomb until I have a bag to put it in. 